Next, I'll go to the card formats and pin configuration, where you will firstly see on the top here a possibility to customize your pin length in your access control system. We can have values ranging from 1 to 24 digits if you want a really long pin code. Of course, if you have a option of having uh, a range of pin code lengths, you need the end of pin character to be configured as well. Usually it would be the hash, but you can also put a star there. And now looking at the card formats, uh, I will add a card format just to give you the general idea of, of what it is. It is actually the translation table between the data we are getting and the data we want to validate. So I get a bit stream from a card reader. Let's say that that bit stream is 32 bit length. Uh, I can invert the bit order and the byte order of the incoming data. I can select if I want to have facility code or card number and the actual range where in this bit stream that my relevant data is for validation. Here I give the facility code range 1 to 10 and the card number is available in 11 to 32. I can select the encoding of it, see if it's decimal, hexadecimal, and also the bit order, selecting if it's little endian or big endian. We have a help tip here to guide you a little bit, uh, but of course we understand that this is rather confusing and we will have a separate workshop especially for this. You can't have two card formats with the same bit length enabled at the same time. So to enable my own format here, I need to disable the 32-bit raw card data format. And then I can have my own configured. 